Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here. We have a new unboxing for you. Um, and it's also receiving a package from Apple of the new Apple remote. Uh, so we'll open this up. This shipped all the way from, from here, all the way from China, I believe, within six days. So that was pretty good. And here it is, it's right at the bottom. I'll lift these two flaps up. Uh, doesn't have any else, any more, anything else with it. Just a single remote right there. Nothing else inside the box. No order confirmation. I don't believe there's none. Nope, none. Yeah. Take that blade again. There you go. Put that box aside. Here we have it. A little thing where you uh, attach it to the the peg at the Apple Store. And in the Apple Store, they don't have these little white things. Only when you ship them out. There you go. Wow, that looks really good. As you can see, this is the case of it. There's no like uh, like this kind of plastic. But it's just a hard plastic throughout. Let me see how you open this. Here at the bottom, both tape all around. There you go. All right, let's get this thing open. Wow, that is really nice. That goes up nicely with the uh, my Mac. That's thinner than I expected. All right, here. Wow, the manual <laughs> just like came apart. Um, so that's the remote. Wow, and you can get this at your local Apple store for $19 flat without tax. Um, without With tax, of course, it's going to be more. And I had to pay for shipping, so I really do um, encourage you to get it at the Apple store instead. It's my serial number. It just says Apple Remote right there. That's pretty much it. You can see the Apple Remote. You have to, this is the battery, I believe, now. Yeah. It's a sensor. I wish that, I think that's a click wheel. Oh, that is a click wheel, I think. Not too sure, so I'll have to play around with it. And once we get into the next video, once this transition over, we'll uh, look at it, see how it works out. So we'll compare these to the old one. Huge improvements, huge improvements. Uh, this is like a solid brick now. I can hold this grasp in my hand. This one, I had to like go around it, you know. The plastic didn't feel right. Um, it doesn't go with, well with your Mac. Um, that's a huge sensor right there. You can see it's got play, pause, plus or minus, um, next or um, rewind, and menu button down below. Here we have a click wheel design with the center button, and you got the uh, player pause, and you got your menu button sensor bar at the top. Nothing on the bottom. Uh, as you see in the bottom right there, you'll see that it says designed in Apple, uh, designed by Apple in California and made in China because that's where it came from so assume they assembled it there so yeah this video will transition onto the Apple remote itself alright guys hey what's going on back here with the part two of the new Apple remote so with this um, it's so much better than this one the old Apple remote because it's one it's plastic it's very light it doesn't feel like a remote but when you have this in your hand it feels exactly like a remote you would turn on to for your TV or anything else like that. This one feels like an iHome one. Uh, for my old iHome, I have one of those. All right, so we're gonna do a little test. All right, we're gonna go to menu. I hit, I hit menu, and notice that this one's um, little in, and this one's popped out, so you can feel which one's menu and which one's play and pause. Um, so I think bring that out a bit. All right, so then you can go. It's up, down now. I think it's always been, but yeah. So it doesn't show that it is up, down, or skip, or next, or last. But you know, and then you can't do that. Can't go once you're that. So you have to hit the center button. I don't have any TV shows, so we're gonna go back. Oh, I do have one Power Rangers. Um, music. Yeah. 
get like a, tons of stuff. All right, so yeah, just go up and down. Do uh, photos. We're not gonna go into that. Settings. Do whatever. All right. So yeah. Now we're gonna go to iTunes. So we're gonna set that up right now. The only thing I don't like about this is that you can't use this with like your YouTube or something like that. Something I would really like. And this click wheel, it's no long. It's not even a click wheel. It's just the design of it. Which you can scroll with it. Um, probably for next time's Apple remote. And the battery is located in the back. There's no Apple logo in the back. Just it says app made in, uh, designed in Apple, uh, des designed by Apple in California, made in, um, made in China, I believe. All right, so we're gonna try to do a song. That's not, you know. Let's see. Okay. Uh, all right, there I am. All right, so I recorded, and we're gonna go to uh, this one. Very awesome. This is my version, so if they say it's someone else's, um, you know they can do that. So you can do. I'm gonna go skip that back. Um, you can press this, and it plays, and it stops because you're hitting the enter pretty much, and then you're gonna go play. You can do that too, and same thing. So yeah, and then we're gonna go and do back, forward, side to side, and this one still operates as, you know, the volume switch, and just like that. So that's pretty much it for the Apple, the new Apple remote, the aluminum, just came out. I say you should pick one up. Look at that sleek design. That's really th really thin compared to the old one. And that's the sensor right there. And it does match up well with your MacBook Pro or even your iMac or Mac Pro. Uh, so that's it. I'd highly suggest this one probably for the MacBook. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, add. Thanks a lot.